Hello everyone, my name is Nikoya, and this is Skyrim, and there's only one moon in the sky right now. Um, I was pretty sure there was two last time I was looking up here, but, well, I guess one is good enough, right? So anyways, today we are actually going to head over to uh, Solitude, up here, and we are going to uh, look for an Argonian down to the docks, who starts a quest to go into some uh, dwarven areas, because... Uh, if we look at our skill tree on, let me see, where is it here? Uh, da, 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 smithing! The next smithing level is going to be dwarven smithing, and so we're going to need some dwarven metal. So, uh, going through dwarven ruins is a good, good way to get that. Now, rather than uh, walking all the way over there, uh, we are going to take the... Uh, We're not going to ride a horker, but uh, we're going to take the uh, carriage over there. And since we're not overburdened, apparently it's a thing that when you're overburdened you can't ride a carriage. I did not know this. I do now, but... Uh, yeah, it kind of makes no sense to me, but... Uh, you, well, well the game works the way the game works. So. We will talk to our carriage, carriage uh, driver here. And... Need a ride? I would like to Maybe hire your to carriage. We want to go to Solitude. Climb and back and we'll be off. Sure thing, bro. And this time it's actually going to work. I hope. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already They really have to make that not cut off when he's talking to me. But yeah well. Yay, we're here. So, we will have some random lag, sorry. Uh, we will go over here and, um, oh, neat. Yoink, yoink. Uh, we'll go over here and discover solitude, um, I think. Why is it not showing up on my... Hmm, weird. It's usually there's an icon in the, uh, the little compass bar up there, but... Uh, if you've come to solitude to join the Legion, speak to Richard. Blah, 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 blah. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're so, are we going to discover this place? Maybe, possibly... Well, let's just go right in. We'll probably discover it once we're inside. Why does that... I... Inside. That is bizarre. I've only ever had that happen on... On this character. On my, my other character. It's never happened that I've opened a door and not gone in. Yay, solitude. They can't hurt Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Blah blah blah, side quests. Not gonna care about that right now. Because I am on my way down to the docks to talk to from deepest fathoms, I believe. You don't think you can barter with me like one of those damned shopkeepers. Up yours. Alright. So we'll get a little jogging in. As we go down and around. You can go by this little guard outpost here. And we go down around this way. And eventually... Wait, did I discover Catlin's farm? Yes, apparently I did. So we go this way, and then down the stairs. And then, we look for an Argonian who seems to be very upset with her life. By the way, I discovered you can actually uh, shoot these hawks and uh, collect alchemy ingredients from them. I thought they were just, you know, for decoration, but apparently they're actually harvestable. Of course, I don't have a bow, so... Uh, oh, there's the Argonian. Uh, kind of not useful. Yay, East Empire Warehouse. No, wait, that's Deja. That's not who I want to talk to. Um... Citizen. Guard. The warehouse is for East Empire Company workers only. Entering without permission is a crime. Cool story, bro. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to end up going in there. Actually, we may or may not end up I going in there later. Oh, does DJ tell us anything interesting? You talk to Ed Brothers. DJ has no words for you. Okay. 
Uh, cool story, bro. Um, where is this Argonian? And not that Argonian. Hmm, not on the boat here. Nosa. All right, so. When in doubt, uh, wait a while, I guess. So, we'll just park ourselves here, and wait how long? It's only 9.13, eh, wait until... Let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah, go for lunch time. What is it? What is it? I'm looking for someone who is not here. This is just DJ again? That's just DJ again. God dang it. These quests are not working out for me. I am slightly annoyed. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll see her at night. Let's try that. Alright, so we about uh, eight hours. Thank God this goes by quickly. Okay, it is now nighttime. And DJ is still there. I don't want DJ, I want... You talk to Ed Brothers. Ah, for... DJ shut up. Everything's all right. Everything's super. Mm, no, not in here. I could steal crap if I want to. Actually, I could just take it. But What's this? Fingerprints! Hmm, that's odd. I thought I got a thing up from that. Maybe I already read it. Maybe it's just old news to me. So, yeah, this is slightly annoying. You have no knowledge of who you speak to. Go away. I really feel like killing DJ. What does she have on her? That's some gold. 55% to steal. <laughs> Tempting, but no. Alrighty then. So, this is a bit of a bust. Uh, but I guess we'll have to come back to this one later. I don't know why I can't get that one. It's a really nice quest too, it gives you a nice perk at the end. Hmm. But, if we can't get it started, we can't get it started. So I'm gonna have to double check on the wiki to see if there's some prerequisite I haven't met yet. Um, in the meantime... Let me see... So in depth... I remember... Yeah, let us go over to Markarth. I remember there is a a thingy in and around this area, which at least has some dwarven ingots we can go grab. So we will go hire ourselves a carriage. Don't think you can barter with me. Like oh, shut up already! And we will spend ourselves a little gold and go over to Markarth. At least that way we can fast travel to it later. Yes, I do. Take you to any other. Where do you want to go? I will go to Markarth. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Markarth, Markarth, Markarth. Ever been to Markarth? Some say it was built by the dwarves. I don't believe a word of it. Yep, the end of his sentence got cut off again. Well, sucks to be him. Alright, discovered Markarth Stables. And we will quickly go in and discover Markarth. And one of the things you quickly discover is that everyone in Markarth is a dick. And so, I am very tempted to take one of the quest options where you just go ahead and kill everyone. Yeah, yeah. The guy's gonna die and then it starts a quest line that I really don't care about. At least not right now. Because I'm not quite leveled up enough yet to um, kill everyone. And believe me, I will. But right now what I want to do is I want to go over and take a walk. Uh, we are going to take a walk uh, down this road for a little ways.
In fact, actually, just thinking about it, I could probably take on some Forsworn. So there's a quest in here that I can take on that's going the same way and I. What happened to you, Pop? The Forsworn have taken Kolskager mine. We're the only ones left. You two head inside and get some rest. I'll send word to the Yarrow. Don't go to Kolskager. It's not safe. So do I talk to him? Guess we'll have damn Forsworn. Since Kolskager mine got hit by Forsworn. Those bats that get more bold every season. They sure do. Pavo and Gat are the only survivors. I'll be sending word to the Jarl about this. But I don't know when help will come. Well, I bet I could help. I'm sure Pavo would be grateful. And we'd all rest a little easier. But that's nonsense. You can't handle a group of Forsworn by yourself. If their axes don't get you. Their magic will. Their magic is a bit annoying. But, uh... We'll see how we do. Anyway, let's make sure that quest is in that one. Uh, miscellaneous. Clear the forest warrant from Kolskiger Mine. So, let me just double check the map, make sure I can't fast travel in closer to that. Nope, we're just walking over there. But, uh, the reason we want to walk over in that direct uh, which direction are we walking? Safe, I hope. Uh, super safe, yes I am. Uh, hang on. Clairvoyance. This way! Okay. Oh yeah, I almost forgot I had the, uh, the light thingy. That will come in handy inside the very dark mine. And I want to go... This way! Hello there. Ah, it's the Kaji Travelers. I don't want to buy any moon sugar today, so I will give that a give that a miss. So onward we go into the Great Wilderness. I wonder if we'll see see um, Aldunir. I think that's the name of the dragon. Uh, he actually roosts somewhere around here. Never found out exactly where. I haven't got that far in the quest lines on my other character. But uh, occasionally you will see him flying overhead, and try as you might to like shoot him with arrows and try and like aggro him. There he is. Hello, Alduin. Wait a minute, he is aggro. I think. Oh yes, he is. In that case, I think this is Alduin. This is just Dragon. So up here is Dragon. Killing Forsworn. I'm actually gonna leave him to kill the Forsworn for a minute. Wow, that guy just got owned. <laughs> oh, there's the Forsworn outside of the camp. Cool. Hello, dragon. Come on. Ah, damn it. I'm out of. Yeah, I couldn't bash him because I was out of uh, stamina. Let me just. God damn it, I don't want to... You know, we have bigger things on our plate right now. Hang on. Healing. Potions. Potion. Uh, minor healing. Damn a couple of those. There we go. Hang on. Let me get a potion of stamina. I never remember to use these. There we go. That's what we want to do. And what we actually want to do is want to heal while he's up there. Use some of our magicka. And then get Onan again. And done. And we will quick save quickly. Okay, well that was unexpected. I just crashed when I quick save, but apparently the quick save actually did save, so um, I'm still about to consume the dragon soul. So, uh, picking up where we left off, which for you is about half a second ago, and for me is about two minutes ago, uh, let's uh, consume this dragon and uh, go kick some Forsworn butt.
So, uh, I'm going to, yikes, heal a bit while I'm consuming this dragon. Mmm, delicious dragon soul. And then, I'm going to go over here and kill this fucking Forsworn. Right in the balls! Oh my god! That animation is getting more and more testicle stabbing every time I use it, I swear. Um, thank you, there we are. Uh, da, 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 da. You do not have anything I want. That's lame. Okay, so, we'll grab ourselves some dragon bones. Some dragon scales, and hopefully not overburdened. Oh, we're good. And some gold, always helpful. Okay, I'm going to try to quick save again. Hopefully this doesn't crash. Yay, it worked this time. Cool. Uh, anyways. Up the hill we go. And into the mine. Uh, was there another one down here? I didn't oh yeah, there's this one. Hang on. Nothing useful, of course. And there's one that flew into the river, but I mean, once you go down to the river, it's a pain to get up, so I'm going to just ignore that one. Ooh, there's a smelter right here too. I'll probably uh, grab some of the... Um, I think there's silver in this mine. So I can grab some of that and smelt some bars down and... and whatnot. And... Hmm, yeah, it's not that dark in here, but... Uh, let's see. Do I have that one up? I do have that one up. A little extra light doesn't hurt. Why are you someone back there? Oof. Right in the balls again. Hey, I leveled up. Sweet. Let me use that. Uh, my magic health or stamina? Mm, my magic is boosted right now. I think I got an amulet of some sort. Uh, sort of ran out of stamina before, so let me go with that one. Now which perk do we want? Uh, restoration would be nice. Uh, I don't have any apprentice level uh, restoration uh, spells yet though, so... Uh, it seems a bit of a waste to put it in there right now. And smithing, I am like one level away from dwarven, so I might actually just keep this perk around and do it th for that. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else? Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see. Standing power attack to 25% bonus damage with a chance to happy your enemies. Can do two-handed power attack while sprinting at the... Uh, I don't really sprint, but... Okay, I'm getting this one. Hell yeah, I'm getting that one. Uh, he doesn't really think I want. And we will quick save and hopefully not crash. Yay, a quick save. Okay. Well, the dramatic music just stopped. Let me see, it is... Oh, it's gold ore. Nice. So we'll probably make a bunch of, like, gold rings and stuff out of that. Uh, once we're done, you know, clearing out the actual badasses in here. Ooh, a good uh, garnet. I'll take that. I remember there being more of them in here. Oh, there's one. No, you never should have come here because you're about to die. Oh, there's a couple of them. Let me lure him over here so I can... Yay! And I will heal. Those arrows are taking a chunk out of me, unfortunately. Yay, restoration leveled! Are you going around the corner? Nope, you're not. Let me just search you. Yay, gold, finally. And I'll try and dodge these arrows. Come on. Quit backing up, you dork. 
Ooh, right in the cooter. Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. All right, you have a garnet. Uh, venison, don't care. The rest of that, nope, don't care. All right, uh, let me just um, fire up my light again. Okay, quick save. There, now we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, some gold in there. We'll come back for that. And I think I want to go up this way. I think. Possibly. No, now you are mine. See, we can both play that game. Dodge the arrows. And... Get some! Wah! Oh yeah, that decapitation is... Satisfying. All right. Uh, let's see anything good over here? Some more gold ore. We'll come back for that. All right. We need to go up this way. Quick save again. Hello there. Oh right, this guy. Ah, for fuck's sake! Could you stop that? Thank you. Healing. So that wasn't too bad. I don't know why Pavel was so worried. I will take Rich Dagger. No. Your Briarheart, yes. Your gold. Troll fat, why not? And there is gold ingot, gold ingot, gold ore, or oops, I took a quill, I think. Let me get rid of that. I don't need to carry that around. And I will forget I have it. Uh quill. X. That dropped pretty heavily for what's essentially a feather. Uh, anyways, I will go X, and I will mine some gold. Now normally I'd say I would fast forward this, but I discovered that fast forwarding in um, Vegas is exceptionally annoying to do. I mean, you would think it would be a very simple, uh, very simple task to do, and if you're doing just video, oh by the way, if you drop button with this hole you go back to the, to the start. Uh, it's just sort of a quick way back, but I want to take the slow way back because I'm mining gold. Um, but yeah, if you are just um, doing video without audio, it works beautifully. You just put in a velocity envelope, and you can like ramp up and down the speed like no problem. Um, but if you have audio, it doesn't affect the audio, so it doesn't stay in sync at all. Which is, I, 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 I just can't imagine who thought that would be a useful thing to have. It's really bizarre. And so, what you actually have to do is you have to make, you have to chop up your video into sub clips, which means you have to use the, um, oh, what do they even call it? The, uh, the trimmer which for some reason only plays back one of the audio channels rather than both of them because I record my my voice audio separately from the game audio so I don't have to like uh, so I can like go back and make sure that you guys can actually hear me uh, rather than having to like accidentally realize you know after a three hour recording that the game audio is completely drowning me out or vice versa but um, yeah so the trimmer only plays one of the audio streams. I mean, you can select which audio stream to play, but it won't play both. Even though, in the timeline itself, when you play stuff, it actually, um, it actually works right. So, I mean, that's just kind of bizarre. Um, so yeah, you have to use this really awkward trimmer interface, and then instead of using the velocity envelope, you have to like control drag the end of the video clip. To smoosh it up into the uh, into like a, a faster um, faster speed, and you can only like use one speed for like the whole segment. You can't like ramp up the speed slowly like you can with the velocity envelope. So I don't know. I'm I'm really not impressed with Vegas's general editing um, editing abilities. I have to say it's. I mean, if it weren't for the fact that it's. I mean, if it weren't for the fact that the DX Story codec only works on Windows, um, I would definitely do my editing on my Mac. I would just get myself, um, I mean, I already have, uh, 
uh, what you call it, final cut. Alright, I would just use that and be happy and not hate every moment of my life that I actually have to do actual editing. Uh, but unfortunately, um, I mean, if I want to import this video on my Mac, I have to transcode it first, which means that I'm going to be, you know, compressing it for three hours on my PC, and then I'd have to edit it on my Mac and then compress for another three hours over there, and then, you know, finally get to upload it. And it's like, you know, for all the trouble it's worth, I can suffer through a bit of annoyance from from Vegas, but man. I just have, I mean, I just can't fathom the the mindset that goes through whatever product developers and programmers made Vegas not actually work in a useful way. I mean, I'm a programmer myself. I understand the programming mindset, usually, but I mean, um, okay, I'll take that stamina potion. I don't need 900 pickaxes, so let me search through here. Interesting. Something about Khajiit stuff. Uh, don't really care. I'll probably go back and read this later. This is a long one. Good lord. I'm kind of impressed with the amount of. Um, I'll take that. Uh, the amount of sort of. Um, what do you call it? Sort of. Um, Backgroundy stuff that they uh, put into this game, like. You know, all the books that are actually books that you can read and so on and so forth. Let's see, do I get it? Oops, I don't want to take that one to read it. Um, let me go back and books. A dance in fire. Read that. No, I don't get anything from that. Okay. So yeah, they um they put a lot of uh put a lot of work into actually fleshing out the world and you know, for once it doesn't make me hate the fact that I actually spent money on a game, although I did buy it on sale too, so not exactly hurting in that uh, in that way. Ah, uh, yay mining. You know, I really don't like the look of this uh, of this particular version of Steel Helm. I kind of um, let's see. I think it came in that way, right? And this is where you drop down. No, it isn't. I thought this was where you drop down. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is where you drop down from above through that uh, little hole, right onto a an ore vein with much gold ore. So yeah, we'll probably actually be able to uh, level up our smithing just with uh, all this gold we're harvesting here. We'll make a bunch of gold rings and sell them to a uh, sell them to a vendor. And get ourselves some gold coins. It'd be kind of nice if we could like craft them directly into gold coins ourselves, but I suppose that'd be slightly game-breaking. And is there more? There is. Yay, mining. So yeah, I learned my lesson. Never edit with Sony Vegas. Um, kind of sad that they went through all this trouble to make an app that doesn't actually do anything useful, but... God help me, it lets me mix my two audio tracks, so... From now on, that is all I will ever do with it. Hmm, halfway to level 13. In fact, I believe at level 14, we can, um... Misk... Gold ingot. Wow, I got a lot of gold ore out of that. Now, it's a shame you don't get, uh, like, smithing skill from this, but, uh... Yeah, I suppose I would level up a little too quickly. Anyways, uh, hang on. Now I was heading this way because I want to go to that stone right up there. So I'm just going to jump off this cliff here. And I believe if I come around from this side, I can't go up that waterfall. But if I go up... Uh, yeah, because it's right up there. If I go up around this way, I think. Up this sheer rock wall, obviously, is not going to work there, but uh, I'm thinking about it all safe so I don't have to resmith all that gold. 
Oh, hello, Blind Cliff Cave, and hello, enemy, apparently. Hang on. Who is aggro on me? Something is aggro on me. What is it? Hello? Oh, Kidoki? Um, sure. So, well, just continue along, I guess. Um, eventually we'll be able to find our way up, unless we have to go through that cave, which would be annoying. Um, hmm. Eventually, there's some guards of some sort there who are wearing fancy skirts. Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. Cool story, bro. Alright, looks like we can start getting up around here. Uh, I'll probably follow that up there. Which, yeah, it's a little annoying from the road down here trying to get up there, but, uh. Is it? Oh, I remember, there's a town up here. Full of very annoying people. Oh, there's also a dragon nest up here. Let's not aggro a second dragon today. Save a few for later, at least. Actually, just thinking, do I have any. Shouts I want to learn. I have become ethereal and disarm. I don't like disarm. I become ethereal is actually kind of cool. Actually, I have two dragon souls so I can unlock. Them. Hey, I'll unlock those later once I learn a few more words. Uh, are we going to get up here? Please, thank you. Okay, there we go. So we'll come back around here. Over this way, I believe. And I think. Hello? Ah, it's a bear! Who's apparently stuck. Well, we'll fuck you up, since you seem to be really eager to die. Ooh, he does a fair amount of damage. But we'll just keep messing you up here, and. Yay, you're dead. So, do you have anything good on you? Bear claws, bear pelt, eh, I'll take it. And do that. Go. What the? Bunny! Excuse me a moment. Ah, dang it. Get over here. Ooh, hang on. Dang it. You know, I was pretty sure I swung my sword there. But... Yay! That will be rabbit number three, I believe. Let's just check our stats. Combat. Bunny slaughtered three. Mark your calendars. Today is an awesome day. Alright, so I want to... Um... Hmm. No, I don't think this is the way around. I think I have to go up the hill further. I'll think of it and we'll quick save. Really, game, really? Seriously? Thank you. Ah, uh, for the love of Let's get up, please, thank you. Okay. Yes, this stone is slightly annoying to get to, especially with all these stupid rocks in the way. But it is entirely worth it. I'll take your gold, thank you. Hello there, Saber Cat. Who's randomly dead here? That's Dwarf of Battle Axe. A knapsack, Dance and Fire Volume 3, don't learn anything from that. Minor healing, Super Nuso Circlet, sure. That's kinda cool. And uh, can I go up here? Yes I can. Cool. Hard to tell sometimes, but uh and sometimes I can and sometimes I can't, but um Uh brother. Uh let's go around I guess. Uh can I go up this way? Yes, okay, cool. And eventually, we'll get up to a point where we can 
go over and ooh, that's rather fancy those are wisps do I want to mess with wisps this is getting slightly boring so let's give it a try see how we do against them all right you come aggro on me okay yeah these seem to be pretty uh now the wisp mother might give us slightly more challenge I remember running into a wisp mother before and getting completely fucked up so it's maybe a slightly bad idea okay doing alright so far let me what who the Wow, that was hardcore. Imperial Courier. Carrying nothing. Okay. Well, let me just see if I can approach this Wisp Mother and not get completely fucked up. Whoa! Hello. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck you, ice attacks. This is gonna suck. Ow. Oh dear, this is really gonna suck. Do I have any like potion of resist cold? No, I do have potions of healing though. And we are going to have to use them. Holy lordy. Potion of healing. Ah, uh, could you not? Good lord. Let's use another couple one of those. And another couple of those. Come on. Oh. What? Ah, oh, fuck. Well, screw the wisp, mother. We'll mess her up on, on a different occasion. And in the meantime, we will go around and try not to aggro all of them. Which I hope we can do. Uh, maybe. There we go. Just glitch up this hill here. Possibly. Excuse me, I want to exploit all the things. There we are. Alright, so, kind of took the long way around there, but uh, we lived which is the important thing. So, mental note, don't mess with Wisp Mothers. Or at least, not just yet. In the future, we will come around and fuck her up, because she annoys us. But for the moment... Um... Hang on. I need to be on the other side of a stream. Uh, let me see if I can, can I get from this angle here. Uh, yes, I can. Cool. Ooh, excuse me. There's a commentary belch. Cool. All right. So we will go over and discover. Dun dun dun! The Lover Stone. This is kind of cool because basically all skills um, get uh, get a uh, learning boost on them rather than just like the specific skills. The boost is slightly smaller, but honestly, it's not that big a deal. Uh, and since we're cross-classing things here, well, we'll take a rock warbler egg. Uh, since we're cross-classing here with the, the restoration and the two-handed, um, it sort of makes sense to. Uh, to take a, uh, a mixed boost rather than uh, one of the pure class boosts. So we'll just glitch down this mountain and get five frames per second suddenly. Why is this doing this? Oh my god, why do you do this? Oh, now it's better. Sort of. Go figure. If anyone can tell me why that happens and how to fix it, I would love to know. So, nothing left to do. Actually, I didn't even need to come down here. I can just fast travel over there. Uh, go back to left-hand mine, and turn in this quest.
<laughs> Hello, mine. Put that sword away so people won't think I'm going to stab him in the face. And we will turn in this quest. And do they actually have a blacksmithing thingy over here? I don't think so. So, I think I might end up uh, this I episode in. Any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Kolskiger mine is lost, friend. Forsworn killed everyone. And I killed all the Forsworn. You drove them off? By yourself? Damn right I did. Thank you. We'll head back to work right away. Take this. It's the least I can do. Why, thank you, sir. 750 gold. Hot damn. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's check the map here. Let me just see. Yeah, I think the dwarven thing is down around here, but I don't feel like walking there today because this episode's probably gone on long enough, and you know, hopefully the first half of it didn't get killed when my game crashed, but I'm holding out hope. And certainly by the time you're hearing this, you'll know whether it did or not. I'm still uh, not sure about whether it did, uh, but I will find out soon enough once I go over to White Run. And I want to... Nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Cool story, bro. I want to make some... Uh, jewelry, some gold rings. Oh yeah, I get lots of smithing skill from this. And we get a couple more. Level up, hot damn. So, pop up here. And I will take Magicka. And then go over to Smithing. And hello, Dwarven. So, as we can see now, we can do uh, Dwarven Smithing. We'll make ourselves probably some uh, Dwarven. Uh, probably Dwarven Great Sword. That does 29 base damage versus um, whatever my Orcish does. I think it's slightly more. And oops, uh, I don't think there's anything else we need in here. Uh, I don't really like the look of the dwarven, uh, dwarven armor. It's it has sort of a neat kind of Greek sort of thing to it, but I mean, you end up looking like a robot, which is not really what I want to look like. Um, although I may craft the helmet just because this helmet looks really retarded on this character. Uh, so yeah, I'll just go uh, dump a little extra stuff in my uh, in my chest upstairs, and that will be that for this episode. So let me see. Uh, Harold, do we have any extra thing in here? Yep. Ooh, fifty-two. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. Uh, fifty-two gold rings. That'll be fun to sell. Alright. Potions. Do we have any potions we'll get rid of? Nope. Food. We'll keep the food. Green is going to remember to put those away. Uh, misc. Amethyst. Beer pill. Dragon bone. Dragon scale. Uh, double that stuff so we can go grab it later when we actually feel like selling it slash using it. Long life to you, cool story. House Carl. Now we will dump our ingredients in here. And I think we will call that an episode. So I'll just head back out to White Run and go look at the Go look up at the moon again, wherever it is. There it is. And I'll remind you to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.